I found something interesting in my yard the other day. It belongs to a bald-faced hornet. Here's a picture of what it would look like hanging in a tree. But the wind knocked mine down. And this is what I have. Look at all the colors in the papery edges of this nest. And look at the cells inside the nest. I'm going to turn it over so you can see the back side of it. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the creature that made this beautiful paper nest that hung way up in the top of one of my pine trees. So despite the name, the Bullfist Hornet is actually a type of yellow jacket wasp, but it's different in many ways from the black and yellow insect that we all commonly call a yellow jacket. The bald-faced hornet is mostly black with white markings on its face and the tip of the abdomen. In fact, it's sometimes called the white-faced hornet. It's easy to spot since it's only black and white yellow jacket there is. It's larger than a standard yellow jacket at about three quarters of an inch long. And again, this is what it looks like. Like other jackets, the bald-faced hornet builds a papery nest. While yellow jacket nests are mostly in the ground or in voids in buildings, the bald-faced hornet nests hang mostly in trees, but can also be found under eaves and attics or attached to a building. The nests in the tree are usually hidden in vegetation and not noticed until late fall after the leaves are gone. A single overwintering queen began building the nest in the spring. She laid eggs and tended the first batch of the larvae that developed into the workers. Those workers tend new larvae and expand the nest throughout the summer. A mature colony can have several hundred workers by summer's end. In fall, the workers die and the next year's queens find a place to spend the winter. Their nests are grayish to brownish depending on the materials that the wasps chew to make the paper. They will scavenge from vegetable fibers, weathered wood, dead plants, and even man-made cardboard or newspaper. They chew the fibers and mix them with saliva to make a pulp, which is painstakingly put into place mouthful by mouthful to form the envelope. Nests are pear-shaped and can grow up to 14 inches and 23 inches long, with the larger end at the top and an interest hole near the bottom. If you could tear open the papery outer envelope, which ours did tear open, you can see several layers of combs inside. Each comb is made up of cells that at one time contain wasp larva or pupa. Bald-faced hornets feed on nectar and honeydew from plants, but like other yellow jackets, they will occasionally scavenge on human food. The adult wasps are actually considered to be beneficial since they capture insects other yellow jackets and spiders to feed their developing larvae in the nest. Bald-faced hornets aren't much of a threat since their food gathering habits rarely bring them into contact with humans. And they are more docile than our regular yellow jackets unless their nest is threatened. Then they can sting aggressively and hornets will not reuse the same nest thought you might enjoy seeing my latest find.